eased out the back early as Diamond White on settling down. Lady in waiting going on here in the French Philly. Juvenia up on the outside. Kissagram just drops in behind. Elberada the grey smothered up in the middle of the field there and going up on the outside with a white cap. Zarat Dubai now takes it up. Tracking her is uh, nearest the camera. Alabac and back in the field behind the grey. Elberada is Diamond White and company with Cape Verde. But uh, it's Zarat Dubai who goes on for Gary Stevens. Leads by two lengths. Lady in waiting. Alabac, Kissagram and Elberada. Elberada up on the outside. The grey there of Javania. A length and a half then to Cape Verde as they pass the six. And Diamond White who's having a 15th start of the season is last of all. But uh, racing uphill towards the highest point of the course. And Gary Stevens on Zarat Dubai. Uh, leads the way here by a length to Lady in waiting. Two lengths away and third is Kissagram. Alabac out wider. Elberada. Alvarado's had a good run on the outside of Juvenia, followed then by Cape Verde and last of all Diamond White as they start to freewheel downhill, short of half a mile to go in the Vodafone Nassau Stakes. Out in front with ears pricked, it's the big filly Zarat Dubai by three parts of a length, the lady in waiting. Then on the outside, Alabac Kissagram gets to work the far side. They're followed by Alvarado who's now easing to the outer with Cape Verde down the outside. Diamond White is next from Juvenia, but with ears pricked, it's still da Zarat Dubai bypass the three who shows them a clean pair of heels in second now is Alabac from Lady in Waiting here's Cape Verde and Alberada who are on the outside further back in the field then is Kissagram racing inside the two now it's Zarat Dubai who still defies them on the outside Lady in Waiting here's Alabac and Cape Verde Alberada in behind under the whip Diamond White is running on as well they're stretched across the track four or five in with a chance Zarat Dubai still in front of Lady in Waiting and now Diamond Diamond White getting through along the inside from Kissagram. Zarat Dubai, though, still in front, and Zarat Dubai is going to win it. Zarat Dubai, photo second, Lady in Waiting, and Diamond White, then Kissagram from Alberada, Juvenia, then uh, Alabac, and last to finish is Cape Verde, last year's 1,000 guineas winner. But it's the other Godolphin who's won it, and that's Zarat Dubai, another perfect ride from Gary Stevens. There it is in front. There she is, Zarat Dubai. She's won it about a nectar lady in waiting on the near side and Diamond White, the far side. That's a photo there. And just behind them in the spots is uh, Kissagram. Alberada, great run first time out, but beaten the fair way out. Then Alabac, followed by Juvenia. And unfortunately, four lengths away last is Cape Verde. The winner is number eight, uh, Zarat Dubai, owned by Godolphin, trained by Saeed bin Sarur, ridden by Gary Stevens, his 32nd winner of the, of the season. Second is number five, or we know it's a photo officially, and it's between five, uh, Lady in Waiting, owned by Pegasus Racing, trained by Paul Cole, ridden by Kieran Fallon. The other one in the photo, number three, Diamond White. What a race he ran, owned by Peter Scott, uh, trained by Mick Ryan and ridden by Ray Cochran. And fourth was Kissagram. But the... Five to one winner, the five to one winner here, Zarat Dubai, has uh, won for Gary Stevens. And how unfortunate it is that uh, he looks like going back to the States because this man is a very, very talented rider. We're privileged to have him here. Gary Stevens went on and decided to make the running. A lady in waiting never really got to the front. And Gary Stevens has done the right thing, really, although Kieran Fallon on lady in waiting very nearly catches the filly in front. Frankie Dottori gave you the biggest clue in that pre race interview. He said, Zarat Dubai is no second string. She does drift over to the far side and I think interferes with Kissagram. We'll see that in a minute. Alvarada never really going, Willie, but I think maybe your comment before was right. It was a bit of a soft race. Yes, well, uh, yes, when you, you must say that after the diamond white. Looks like actually winning in the last hundred yards, but this winner, Zara Dubai, the um for win uh, filly, she's she's in front, you know, and she's not doing anything. She's absolutely just floating about in front there. As soon as uh, Gary Stevens gives her a tap down down the shoulder, uh, she goes and and uh, just. That's not enough. Now, not here we have the head on. Yeah, not surprisingly, they've announced the steward's inquiry, and this is why Zarat Dubai does drift over. I think you'll see her interfering with Kissagram. It's Diamond White over on the left. Kissagram actually coming off, uh, Diamond White coming off the rail as uh, Zarat Dubai goes over, and Kissagram is definitely interfered with there. Yes, there is a, uh, I think you could say there was a slight contact, but the, uh, the question will be asked. Uh, did it interfere with um, Kissagram's chances? Well, um, <coughs> I don't know. 
Uh, they, yeah, he's finished. What is he finished fourth? Fourth in the end. Yeah. And uh, he's been beaten. Uh, not oh, very far. Not that far. Maybe the stewards will take some action. Maybe they won't. It's I one of those 50-50s. But there was uh, there was a little bit of contact there. You can see Kissagram's uh, tongue hanging out, and Gary Stephen just went for it there, and he's just let his animal go down to the, the right there, and he's corrected her. Straight away, he corrected her. And he has got his stick in his right hand, yes. which is the correct hand to have it. Diamond White over on the other side up with Ray Cochran, I think, rolled off the rail a bit as well. Maybe, but...